Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about banding or tagging your quail. Um, I've got a guy coming by later on this week to pick up some birds and I want to go through and I want to sort these birds out and I want to make sure that I tag or mark or identify the birds that I want to hang on to so I don't inadvertently sell him something that I was planning on keeping for my breeding programs. There are a lot of uh, reasons or purposes for banding your quail or tagging your quail and probably the one that I see the most out there is for sex identification. Uh, especially amongst birds that are in the non-feather sexable variety. Uh, what people will do is they will vent sex their birds and they will, they will ban the roosters. That way they can look into a cage and they can instantly identify which birds are the roosters and which birds are the hens. Uh, some other reasons for banding might be uh, for uh, color variety identification, uh, if you are doing a spiral or clan breeding program, you can assign a different color band for the individual groups. Uh, or if you're doing something a little bit more advanced, uh, like working with mutations and different recessives, uh, you may want to band birds for that. Um, also for cage assignment, if you, are, if you have a lot of birds uh, in multiple cages, you may want to assign a different color band per cage. That way, if one of your birds should get out or you pull a bird out for, you know, put it in another cage for timeout or you're doing a health check on the bird and you don't remember which cage it went back into, uh, a band uh, for a cage assignment will definitely help there. Uh, there are other reasons um, for banding, such as record keeping. Um, age is one of them. You can actually assign a different color band for each month out of the year. And that way you can look right at the, uh, the bird's uh, leg band and tell which month that bird was born in. Uh, you could also do it for generations. Uh, say you've got several generations of one color variety that you're working with and you wanna keep track uh, so you know which generation each bird belongs to for breeding purposes. Uh, you can assign a different color band per generation. Uh, also for uh, uh, production, um, keeping track of your best producing birds, um, your best breeding birds, your best weight birds, stuff like that. Um, there are several ways of tracking all this information. Um, a lot of people just use something very simple as a cage card. In a cage card, you can you know uh, put the variety of the bird, the uh, originating farm that you got the bloodline from, hatch date, laying date, number of hens, number of roosters, uh, something like that. And then you can walk by the cage and you can look at the card and get an idea of what's going on in that cage. But with the banding procedure, you actually get a little bit more in-depth information. Uh, like I say, you can instantly identify roosters, you can instantly identify what clan that bird comes from, uh, what mutations that bird may be carrying, um, so there are a lot of benefits to banding your birds. Um, there are several different types of banding materials out there. When I first started, one of the first things that I used were these simple uh, four inch zip ties. Uh, they're available in several different colors. They're easy to find. You can pick them up at any of your big box stores, Amazon, uh, hardware store, stuff like that. And the nice thing about them is they're adjustable in size. So they're, they're good for very young birds right up through adult birds. But if you want to get a little bit more uh, advanced uh, you, and get a leg band that is already pre-sized, uh, you can go with the leg bands. Um, they're available in multiple colors, uh, multiple sizes, and they're also available uh, numbered. You can get them numbered sequentially. That way you can assign a number to an individual bird and track that bird through its entire life. Um, banding is not only for uh, older birds. Um, I actually ban birds, uh, chicks, right out of the egg. Uh, what I'll do is if I see a chick in the brooder that really stands out and I want to you know, track its progress, see how it feathers out, what not is I will identify that bird. I will mark that bird so I can identify it. Um, one way I do that is with these colored Sharpies. I'll actually take a Sharpie and just draw a line or an X on the back of the bird right on the down. 
and as the bird grows, the down will, you know, uh, shed out and it will no longer uh, appear on the bird. And at that point is when I'll go with a uh, fingernail polish. This is a non-toxic fingernail polish. I have several different colors, but believe it or not, the color that I like the best is red. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, you don't want to use red because it's going to encourage, you know, picking on a bird uh, from the other chicks. I haven't noticed that. Um, I will paint a chick's toenail um, and uh, let it make sure it dries before I introduce them back with the other chicks. And I don't see them messing with that chick at all. Uh, when I'm identifying chicks, sometimes I'll paint one toe, sometimes I'll paint two, sometimes I'll paint three, depending on the uh, clutch that they came out of or the brood that they came out of. And uh, that's just another way of me uh, kind of sorting out my chicks through the identification process. But there are other things that you can do when banding your, your bigger birds. You don't have to stick with just one band per bird. Um, you can actually use multiple colors and multiple bands on a single bird. Uh, I actually uh, will, usually I'll do sex and uh, uh, cage assignments on the left leg, and then I will do on the right leg uh, color variety, uh, different mutations and different recessives should they be carrying them. And not all birds are going to have, you know, several bands. Most of the times the birds will only get one band, but occasionally they'll get two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, there are several different uh, benefits that you're going to get from banding, banding your birds. One is instant uh, identification. Um, you can look in the cage, you can pretty much tell um, whatever you have deemed as important through, through that bird. Like I say, whether it's sex, clan, uh, cage assignment, whatnot. Um, but also you're going to be able to track those birds. Um, what I do is I have a laptop that I'll bring out here in the shop and as I'm tagging or banding birds, I will enter that data into my laptop so I know exactly you know, their origins, uh, where they're, what breeding program they're in, um, colors, mutations, stuff like that. <clears throat> um, as far as getting these uh, materials, uh, they're pretty much available. Uh, the zip ties, the foreign zip ties are available anywhere. You can get them at any of your big box stores, Home Depots, Walmarts, whatnot, even hardware stores. Uh, but the banding, the band legs, or the leg bands, <clears throat> you can get at like uh, Amazon is where I usually purchase mine. They're pretty inexpensive there. But you can get them at feed stores, tractor supply, stuff like that. Um, the bands are available in multiple sizes. Uh, I like to use the six millimeter for the smaller birds. And then I like to use the eight millimeters for birds in the jumbo lines. Um, also, I have uh, the numbered um, bands that are available in both sizes also. And what I'll do with the numbered bands is if I want to identify individual birds within a cage, that's when I use the numbered bands. And I just make sure that when I enter the data into my computer, that number corresponds with the information for that bird that I'm entering in there. So um, I want to show you real quick uh, how you apply the bands. Uh, the zip ties are very simple. Basically just slip it on and uh, stick the end of the zip tie through the slot and pull it not tight. You want it uh, to hang loose on the birds, um, but you want, don't want it so loose that it can slide off the foot. Uh, as far as the bands go, it's just a matter of uh, selecting the color of band that you want to use on the bird. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually grab the band and I'll open it up a little bit. And that way it just makes it easier to slide over the leg. And then the band's got like a little U channel that it just snaps right into and uh, that will fasten it to the leg. Uh, so basically what I've got here is I've got a young male. Uh, he's a pharaoh. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and band him. I've got a, a blue band because he's a boy. And basically what I'll do is I'll open that band up a little bit on the end just to make it a little easier to slide over his legs. And then uh, just grab the leg, stick the band around his leg, and clamp it shut. And that's about how loose it should be. So that'll give you an idea on the zip ties, um, how loose you want it. Um, but 
He's banded and uh, that's loose enough. That is a eight millimeter band and he is of the jumbo variety. So he'll wear that band pretty much his entire life. So guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You'll get notified of any new and upcoming videos. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.